Hello, I'm Jale. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs from the 15th up to and including the 31st of December 2020. Or if you're a cross watcher, this could for Gemini's, this could also be for you. Remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like some parts of this reading resonate, perfect. Maybe some will, some won't. Maybe all does. I don't know. Um, just remember it's a general collective reading and just as I say just take what resonates for you it's not meant to all I, I mean I'm very rarely everything resonates for everyone on these readings so let's see one moment I'm going to light my incense let's take a look for cancerians what is the theme please spirit what is the theme for cancer sun moon rising venus signs 15th to the 31st i'm getting someone tapping me here we've got the lovers there's choices coming up twin energy could be gemini bottom of the deck is the tower okay let's take a look let's see cancer sun moon rising venus signs Let's take a look, Cancer, 15th to the 31st. What's happening here for our lovely Cancerians? Grief, someone is really going through it here. There could be a loss here that they're, you, them, that they're going through. Maybe they feel that they're worried about losing someone. There could be a bit of pride involved. Maybe they're worried about closing out a chapter and they have to choose maybe they have to make a decision and one person they're going to lose and they feel bad for that maybe cancers please what is going on for cancer sun moon rising venus signs cancer forgiveness we've got forgiveness and despondence so again we've got crown shack here again there could have been an issue over a choice there could have been an argument maybe and one person's maybe want forgiveness, the other person's a bit sort of indifferent to the situation. Let's take a look and see. I don't know why I'm singing. Um, maybe one of you is a singer or someone musical. Let's have a look. Cancer, please. What is going on for Cancerian? All aspects. 15th to the 31st. What is happening? convention bluff and detachment again someone could be there could be someone putting a bit of a, um, a sort of ultimatum forward here and maybe someone's a little bit kind of despondent around that um again someone could be overly to sort of focus on the physical with the riches card here and you know there could be a situation that is calling for a decision and maybe someone's not ready let's have a look there could be also again an energy of a connection that is very physically focused and maybe that's their someone's comfort zone and, and the other person's maybe very different from that but someone's about to call a bluff here let's see cancer from the 15th to the 31st please we've got a twin flame energy that's coming forward in this cancer in a reading yin and yang zen balance union duality coupling complement each other and then we've got coffee cup savoring and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted in friendship so there's some kind of maybe a friendship that's been reconciled with a twin flame possible while another situation is being closed out let's have a look cancer please spirit what is happening for cancer cancer sun moon rising venus signs to the 31st of december what is happening here please we've got the eternal child and pride so someone could be maybe having inner child issues maybe there's an ego element that someone's holding on to here um, and we've got the offering so someone's very maybe traditional here and they don't want to sort of move forward while they're in another relationship or maybe they're trying to sort of heal some shadow elements here we've got a vision so someone wants something but they know something has to close out before they can reach towards it and make their decision possibly let's see for cancer spirit what is the situation for cancer up to and including the 31st of december teardrops great personal sorrow turkey someone is behaving stupidly cup you should accept valid criticism 
and club someone will try and make you do something against your will they're saying one more goodness me nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you goodness me guys let's see what is happening here again there could be some again with someone choosing one person maybe a bluff was made again it was maybe cause a bit of disharmony um or maybe someone's acted very sort of maybe someone was um one of the options possibly said look make your decision and one person was cut off possibly let's see some people aren't happy though let's have a look cancer energy please cancer please what's happening 15th of 31st mother nurturance patience unconditional love joy in giving birth to life so again could be mother issues um again we've got the eternal child here uh, or someone could be feeling like they have to nurture someone there could be a nurturing energy that's being brought forward and we've got storyteller at the bottom of the deck ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols so again it could be that someone's making excuses maybe someone's a bit of a fast talker here let's take a look um what's happening for cancer please 15th to the 31st of december what's happening for cancer mm, successful career a happy working environment pay rises and promotions so again it could be that someone's focused on that as opposed to maybe a choice um again someone's maybe not too sure what to do they're focused they're detached around the connection they know that they're gonna have to make a decision possibly and so rather than making a decision possibly something happens that makes them make a decision with this tower and this lovers but let's take a look at the tarot and see what information we can find out here let's take a look spirit for our cancerian sun moon rising venus signs what exactly can you tell us here please what is going on with the cancerians for the 15th up to and including the 31st of December what is happening what will happen okay so someone's very defensive around money there could be money issues someone's trying to protect their money maybe so it could be that whatever this situation is linked to there's a, a money tie or a practical resource tie and they're worried about the arguments or the fallout of this how that will affect it how it will how it will affect their work how it will react how people will work maybe there's a, a link with the career and this this decision but someone's very concerned about that um they're concerned about making a decision to end the situation um that they feel like they have to close out a situation here um because they're worried about how it's going to look is it going to be the person that they want it to close out with? Maybe not, but I feel like this person's so focused on career that they're going to be prepared to do anything. Um, we've got someone that doesn't want to acknowledge a situation. It could be because of children, childhood wounds, inner child issues, but someone's determined not to acknowledge something based on grief. It could be around a mother issue. Maybe they've got wounds around that kind of energy and that emotional energy that's causing them to sabotage this possibly again nine of swords they're scared they're trying to focus on the, the physical because it's more tangible for them possibly as we go into capricorn season as well around the 20th it could be that that's their focus is that kind of more again capricorn is that earth energy it's that stability so i feel like they, they may be swayed off a little bit here because again cancerian with their energy it could be that they can't quite or you maybe again you or if you're a cross watcher Whoever this is for, it's like the energy is too much for them to look at. So they're just focusing on the physical. Let's have a look. Let's take a look here. Again, too many people involved. Five of Wands, money, people acting all kinds of silly. Maybe someone's expecting them to do something. And so they're, they're having to acknowledge that. Because it says someone will try and make you do something against your will. So maybe someone doesn't want to acknowledge this, but they're having to stay in a situation and remain detached until a work situation is resolved maybe this is the energy that's again there's a karmic block around this because of a work situation but there's something here blocking this because again their, their focus is mainly on that as opposed to other things they're worried as well there's a pride or an ego element here that if they if they step forward what happens if it all goes wrong and then they've lost everything 
So it could be that if maybe this is a work situation where they're not allowed to have a connection at work, but it's whatever this is, they're concerned that if they focus on this as opposed to their work or anything else tangible or practical, there could be a um, an issue surrounding that, that falling to pieces. I keep hearing falling to pieces. And again, we've got the tower. So someone's trying to tread very carefully here. And I think what they're doing is they don't want to, they don't want to think about them or their feelings they're thinking about possibly strategic their wounds how people will view this and all the things that people would all the things that maybe people would be concerned about in the physical tangible world as opposed to the spiritual connection or again it could be that this is a twin flame connection that is just not ready yet so let's have a look Yeah, they're trying to get their money in order. They're so focused on money. Six of pentacles, ten of pentacles. It's like they're trying to build an empire here. That's the, They're doing it at the expense of all things. Um, that's their focus. They, 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 they think that this is what they need to do to be successful. Um, and again, I feel like the, the, the choice could be not maybe about lovers. It could be a choice between work and their person or it could be it could be between two people. But there's something about work here that is a primary focus that is at the expense of all other things. Um, it's like. There's choices here again, an emotionally secure loving family is important to them. So they they could be trying to build for a future with a family, but they just don't know where that's going to be. If that makes sense. Um, there's also criticism here. So maybe that they've received criticism that they're not working hard enough, or that they're not doing enough, or maybe you you're receiving that criticism. But someone's receiving a criticism here that's making someone very focused in terms of their career, and it's like they're propelling them forward. It's propelling them forward. It's like a they could have been hurt in a situation that's making them want to put more of an investment in work maybe they've been hurt and so that's their only you know they can gain a, there's a, something coming to fruition through this work again three of wands three of swords they feel like their vision is that emotions possibly have caused them hurt and it's like they don't want to focus on the emotions at the moment it's too much for them they, they want to focus on their future with other things. It's like maybe they've been receiving a lot of criticism and, and it's like their emotions are just not, they can't handle any more criticism. So they're just focused on their work. But it feels like there could be a third party situation here with persons or again, career and a you, um, that they're just, they're focusing on their future and they feel a heartbreak. Maybe they want to be able to come towards you, but they're just, it's just not time. And maybe there's been an argument here where you maybe someone said they weren't were lazy or there's someone's been putting a lot of criticism this person's way. And so it's made them refocus things and sort of focus less on the emotions. But because of that, they're now sort of again, we've got a tower moment here. So let's have a look. King of Cups and the moon. So they're hiding their emotions because it's easier for them to do that. Again, they could have they could have said, oh, no, I'm not interested. I don't want anything because I'm doing this. But it's like the reason for that is because they're, they're just thinking, well, I don't know the answer yet. Let me just focus on work. And then later on, we'll worry about the emotions. But it's a bluff. They don't really not care. It's just that, again, could be just that they want friendship while this is they want the forgiveness. Maybe there was a fallout with this and that they're trying to rebuild, but they're just going to focus on their work. But in this time, it's like maybe they just don't have the time to do it, you know, rebuild this at the moment or the inclination. So there's a commitment here, Hierophant and the High Priestess. So this is a counterpart energy here. Um, there's some kind of an acknowledgement between, again, it could be that they actually acknowledge this as a connection, but they're not ready to do anything about it yet. And they're trying to build their finances ready for this connection to come in. Um, and while they're doing that healing emotionally, so they're ready, it could be that this connection is not quite ready to get off the ground, but they, they are trying to build foundations and, and like save for the future. But there's definitely, let's see what else I can figure out. What is this high priestess and hierophant? 
what is this high priestess and higher font what is the high priestess and higher font yeah they're not they're not ready they're not ready they didn't learn yet their energy is too flaky it's like they're So it's Taurus energy and Pisces energy. What is the higher font with the high priestess? They don't want to acknowledge certain things. It's like they know at some point they're going to have to break out of a cycle here, but they're not acknowledge. They don't want to acknowledge it. They're just, you know, when you've got a problem, it's like, do you remember at school when you have to do your worst homework and you did every other bit of homework and then came back to that last? Or you remember when you do your chores and you have to do the art you do the ironing last because it's your least favorite it's this it's like they're doing every they're building all the whole life and then they're going to leave their emotions to last because it's like they're trying to they're trying to put this off that's the energy i'm getting here they don't want to deal with the, the emotions are their their least favorite thing to deal with so it's like let me just build a whole new life around this and then i'll deal with the emotions later but meanwhile i've built everything else up around me it's it's like they're they're avoiding the elephant in the room because it's easier to do that you know again the storyteller card it's easier for them to focus on these other things king of pentacles <laughs> pride yeah it's like i feel like this person also thinks like if i just build this up then i'm going to feel a sense of self-worth then I i'm going to feel is i think they're building their confidence i think this person's trying to build their confidence um ready for their person again ready for their future but I feel like you're not going to be too, again, ready for the future, building a nest egg. But again, it's like, again, this someone who's behaving stupidly. They're not, it's like they're so far-sighted, but they're doing it deliberately. And I, I mean, maybe there's method in the madness. Who knows? Let's have a look. No, there's not because we've got the tower here and the ace of cups. So let's have a look what this tower is let's see what is this tower card please we've got the magician jumping out in the reverse what is the tower card please they don't want to look they don't want to they don't want to see what this really is so that like i said they're doing everything but what is the tower representing though what happens with the tower and the ace of cups what happens there could be some kind of discussion here um i feel like someone steps in and says have you had enough of this yet like are we going to do this or not one person let's say for example you're their person you're going to step in at some point and be like have you finished like do we need to can we not just do this later but it's like there you've got the queen of swords here fighting the page of swords it feels like this person's rebelling because they're not ready we've got a page versus a queen something has knocked this person so far back that the only thing they can do is focus on anything but their emotions because it, again it's like there's too much going on let's see what does the tower moment involve please could be an argument between you two where you're saying look are you going to do this or not like when is this going to happen you know let's see right so we've got oh my goodness yeah there's a just okay so in amongst this situation we could also have someone else in a third party situation because we've got the four of wands, the hierophant, the judgment card, the six of wands and the lovers. So it's like someone is 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 putting the brakes on a situation. Again, it could be that maybe someone is saying, well, look, now you've built all this up. Now you're going to have to marry or now you're going to have to do this. And so there's it stops them in their tracks with this tower moment again don't forget we have the tower moment coming up as a central theme as well what else can you tell me about this tower moment please what is what, what happens with this tower moment what is the tower moment please there's a okay so there's arguing and it's it's again it's to do with not making a decision someone's defending their it's like game the song's playing games they're bluffing it's like they're just trying to there's a it causes this causes an argument whatever they're doing it causes an argument okay everyone's going to be different yeah so 
interestingly i don't i think it's because it could be that either they're neglecting you or someone because of this focus on work and so because of that there's an argument or it doesn't pay off at this work situation and then they lose money it could be both of those things but it causes a town moment here because their focus is so far away from what they should be focusing on that it creates an issue basically there's like some kind of arguing here going on um that is not conducive to a happy situation um oh dear let's see what the outcome for this is going to be okay spirit what is the outcome for our cancerians 15th to the 31st uh oh okay so someone what is this three of swords what is this three of swords ace of cups clarify queen of wands four of wands there's some kind of communication here it could come from a karmic that it whatever this tower moment brings about could be an argument with you i feel like there's a risk here that this karmic's going to figure this out and that they're going to then be questioning everything um it causes a lot of our it causes arguments so let's say you step forward and sort of start questioning why there, there's been no attention paid to you because they're just focusing on work this draws the karmic's awareness in something happens here to draw what is the four of wands So it could be that you go look if you're not going to sort this out i'm done and it could be right so what's the three of swords yeah someone is threatening to walk away from the situation and again it causes another issue with the karmic so whatever this is it's like what is the outcome please someone's despondent it could be that you know that you're getting told oh you know just wait if you maybe this isn't ready yet and blah 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 someone wants to work on this and someone else doesn't right and it's because they're not ready and they're focused on work this is more work based but you've got too many people involved here and you've got one person that's putting all their energy into something so they don't have to acknowledge this let's see what is the outcome please what is the outcome They're trying to juggle. They don't know what... They're trying to manifest a situation where this is under control. Um, there's a lot of burdens here that, again, they don't quite know how to deal with this. Um, what is this high princess? Yeah, there's there's too many choices, too many options. They're, they're avoiding the truth. They're not being honest about the truth. They're trying to block... There's just... Put this way, stand back. <laughs> Look, if this is you and this is your situation, just stand back because it's like whatever's going on here this person's not ready and it's like it's pushing them into a situation where they're making all these it's like they rather than just being honest they're not and it's creating more more issues and then it's like blowing the whole situation up 15 times more i would be standing back if i was you i wouldn't even be involved in this if i was you but if you have to be friendly to this person if it's your twin flame just stand back don't get too involved don't be involved in a situation where, where there's other people involved it just there's too, there's too much going on here so the advice what is the advice from spirit please yeah this isn't time yet let this person learn this stand back like let them gain their knowledge because this person's not ready they're, they're they're too busy fighting everyone they need to look within but they're not they're externalizing everyone everything and so nothing's moving along anyway guys i hope that helps this was your reading for cancer gonna keep my crit fingers crossed for you guys and yeah, thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions. Until next time, take care.